what I've learned here in the past three days is that us architects and architecture students can influence society from the way we think and just create a better environment for the future. Why is Cape Town the world design capital? And it's because we are relevant to the way the world is moving. Cape Town's world design capital designation is this unique opportunity to shine a spotlight on socially transformative design. Design as a change agent, design as a way to make lives better for people. Cape Town has unique problems. Our designers are solving them in interesting ways with communities. Live design, transform life. That's our theme. This conference, I'm sure, is going to inspire a lot of people. And I have a very strong feeling that they will actually help us as designers, as architects, and as people who are actually creating uh, environments for our people. The theme of this particular conference has been rescripting architecture. And that, to me, is very, very powerful. And the sub-themes that have actually been built upon the main theme have actually reflected that very, very wonderfully in a number of ways. We architects and the design should position today in the lines of the history. So where we are, what we are doing. So it's a more anthropological point of view rather than just uh, making pretty drawings. So I think the architecture, architecture design and design itself became more and more anthropological today because we, are, we don't know where we are living and what we are doing, how we are living. And uh, this anthropological point of view uh, should be more discussed and uh, shared among the designers and architects, but also the citizens. The spirit of the age is really important for architects to always be sensitive to because I think that that then can start to kind of bring into being buildings which are more than just, you know, the sum of clients and views and, you know, disconnected from the kind of the experience and the aspiration that citizens want. Traumatic histories and, and celebratory histories, in the end, in, in the narrative of history, are just histories. And I think that as architects we have to s quickly collapse the space of difference and the space of um, those political paradigms. If one is talking about a place like Cape Town, the concerted effort to kind of reconcile the indifference is critical. A concerted effort to show a kind of architecture of inclusivity is critical. These are just simple techniques that start to kind of visually tell the citizens, all the citizens, that there's something new occurring. Buildings literally are the narratives of the times that we're in. The buildings that you're building literally epitomize what agenda you've got behind your time. It's critical that in an age where we understand you know, how to do things, that we start to move to an age where we can start to make meaning out of the things that we now know how to do.